Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. In this question, we're being asked to prove that the sum of the squares of five consecutive integers is divisible by five. So I think um, to tackle this question, we should define what those five integers will be. So let's let the five consecutive integers be, we'll start with n, so n will be an integer, that means the next integer would be n plus 1, then the next one would be n plus 2, next one would be n plus 3, and then we'd get n plus 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 integers. And we're asked to think about the sum of the squares. So what that means is the sum of the squares of those integers would be equal to uh, n squared plus n plus 1 squared plus n plus 2 squared plus n plus 3 squared plus n plus 4 squared. And because we're dealing with just squares, this is easy enough to expand. And then hopefully when we expand it, all of the resulting items are divisible by 5, so we can factor out 5. So let's see if that's what happens. So we'll have n squared plus first one squared plus twice the product plus last one squared plus first one squared plus twice the product plus last one squared plus first one squared plus twice the product plus last one squared plus first one squared plus twice the product plus last one squared. So now in terms of n squared, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's five n squared plus two plus four is six plus six is 12 plus eight is 20. So plus 20 n plus one plus four is five plus 9 is 14, plus 16 would be 24, 30. So plus 30. So now I can say that's equal to 5, bracket, n squared plus 4n plus uh, 6, and therefore it's divisible by 5. So that, that's, uh, um, that ended up being simple enough. Um, I, I guess we kind of just got lucky there, um, but uh, whenever you're asked to prove a question, or, or you're asked a question that involves proving something is divisible by something, um, one possible technique is to kind of do whatever you're being told and, and see if you can factor out that something. So if we want to show it's divisible by five, we want to get something where you can factor out five. Uh, in this case, that proved to be easy enough. It's not always that easy. Sometimes the techniques you need to use are a bit more complicated, but thankfully for this question, the key to it was simply defining those five consecutive integers, and then it all kind of fell out quite nicely. So hopefully um, you've been able to follow that and it's all made sense. And uh, yeah, tick boom.